Hi, I'm Alan Pope, Developer Advocate for Telegraph at Influx Data. And I'm Scott Anderson, a tech lead on the product team at Influx Data. Hi, Scott. What are we talking about today? You know, today we are going to talk about the vast amounts of data that we are collecting from our increasingly instrumented world and how InfluxDB OSS and InfluxDB Cloud can help you efficiently collect, store, and visualize all of that data at potentially a global scale. Potentially global scale. What kind of uh, infrastructure does that require? You know, when you get down to it, it's really pretty simple. What you can do is deploy InfluxDB OSS on or near the edge. And when I say the edge, I just mean where the data is being collected. You can have agents like Telegraph or InfluxDB client libraries that are collecting data and writing that into InfluxDB OSS, or uh, InfluxDB OSS can scrape data from these remote endpoints. It can then process and downsample that data. And instead of writing it back to itself, like we've covered in other videos, you can write that downsampled data to InfluxDB Cloud. Why do the processing at the edge? Why not just send all the data to InfluxDB Cloud? Yeah, that's a great question, and there's a few reasons why. I think the first is really about efficiency. When you process the data, the, the raw high-precision data in InfluxDB OSS, it's all localized, and there's not as much of it because it's only processing the data that it's collected from nearby sources. If you were to push that data into InfluxDB Cloud in its raw, unprocessed state, you're then collecting data from multiple sources and trying to process all of that in a single InfluxDB Cloud instance, which is, which is a heavy load. So you're, you're being more efficient by offloading the processing load to InfluxDB OSS on the edge. So if you've got downsampled data in InfluxDB Cloud, can you still get access to the high-resolution raw data? Absolutely. In fact, one of the, the great features of InfluxDB OSS and InfluxDB Cloud is the fact that the APIs are nearly identical. Uh, the, the write API and the query API are identical, so if your InfluxDB OSS instance is network accessible, you can query data stored in OSS from InfluxDB Cloud and vice versa. So anywhere you are in your entire distributed infrastructure, you can get at data anywhere else that exists in your infrastructure. That's great, but how does this scale to larger industrial deployments? You know, when you're, when you're looking at InfluxDB OSS on the edge, this could be a buoy in the, the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This could be on a hydroelectric dam in Nevada. It could be on a station in a production line in a factory. It doesn't matter. Once you figure out the process of the data that you're collecting and how you're processing it and then writing it over the network to InfluxDB Cloud, you can use tools like InfluxDB Templates to templatize the resources necessary to do that and then quickly and easily deploy new instances and new clusters all around the world and collect data at a global scale. That's awesome. Do we have any documentation to support this? We do. We have blueprints that outline this infrastructure. We have documentation that walks you through each of the, the steps necessary to set this up. We'll provide links in the, in the description below. That's great. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Hopefully this helps, and I am excited to see what you build.